Hello everyone, this is Abdul Hamid and my senior design project is mobile sensors. The brief uh, description of the uh, mobile sensors. So the main operation of mobile sensor is to detect objects and obstacles in surrounding areas. Uh, as the name suggests, mobile sensor can be moved from one vehicle to another vehicle, from one uh, spot in the same vehicle to another uh, spot. Uh, the <clears throat> Main areas that we need to use this kind of devices uh, device are military airfields, uh, marine ports where there are too many big ships, RVs, and trailers. Uh, considering there are too many blind spots and tight spaces in the above mentioned areas uh, and vehicles, uh, sometimes we need more than one person to operate them. So using mobile sensors can decrease the number of uh, people necessary to operate in the above mentioned areas and uh, vehicles. Uh, we also have a camera in, installed inside the sensor box, so people or the drivers can also see the images and graphics of the surrounding areas. Uh, considering uh, it's a very big and broad uh, field, that's why we can only uh, consider we can only focus on the trailers. Uh, the reason why we need this kind of devices uh, because. Uh, there are a lot of trailers out there that they don't have installed sensors inside them and also there are some cars that they have installed sensors but they are only fixed in one point and they can show you only one direction so having this kind of sensors they can use they can be used in trailers uh, to show around around uh, the vehicle what's around them and also they can be used with the vehicles that they already have one but they are fixed uh, <clears throat> uh, there are some cars that they have sensors uh, and they can only operate at a certain speed. Below that speed, they cannot operate. Uh, so uh, having this kind of sensors can give them more inf information about their surrounding areas. And also uh, having sound alarm uh, is helpful for the people with not so great vision, uh, even though there's camera inside the sensor box, but that might not be helpful. And having a sound alarm can let them know if they're close to uh, a vehicle, another vehicle or an object. Uh, uh, and, and it's very helpful for them. So uh, the, uh, how this design works. So we have all the uh, necessary uh, components installed inside a box. And that box has a magnet attached to it. And using that magnet, we can... Uh, attach it anywhere inside the in, uh, uh, in the in the vehicle, which in this case uh, is a trailer. So uh, in order to uh, create such design, uh, I had to create my own board that is only working for this design and it doesn't have a lot of extra stuff. So I created this board, uh, uh, a microcontroller. And uh, we also have uh, for, uh, for sensors, ultrasonic sensors. Uh, and the specification of ultrasonic sensors is that it works in humidity and dust. And also it has a big range of temperature that it can operate from minus 10 uh, Celsius, degrees Celsius to 70 degrees Celsius. Uh, but the other thing is that uh, it's not working good with the fast moving. moving. And here is the uh, design of the uh, ultrasonic sensors have a lidar sensor uh, in this uh, uh, sensor box that's working with the laser beam and it's not affected by the light and it's very accurate and it's working with the fast moving uh, here's the block diagram we have a lidar a camera and also sonic sensor that's attached to microcontroller while uh, it's uh, uh, <clears throat> collecting information and sending it to transmitter and the transmitter is sending information to the smartphone uh, and letting know the driver or, pass or the oper operator if there's something around uh, here's the demonstration. Uh, uh, in our case, since uh, uh, <clears throat> I parted ways with my uh, partners uh, from the mechanical engineering, I just created what I could, and there are two uh, ultrasonic sensors attached to the uh, microcontroller. And we see when on the left side, when there's an object, uh, uh, when there's no object detected, the green uh, the LED is not on, but on the right side, when there's an object that's uh, detected in 20, uh, 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 the centimeters then it's uh, the main challenges of this design was uh, it was very hard to find the codes for camera and for the lidar sensor and it was even harder to combine those codes thank you very much